Yorkasaw, welcome back to Night in the Woods. In the last episode, we went out to a party and we had a bad end to our night out. We had so many social foes par. We said a lot of things we probably shouldn't have said. We did things we probably shouldn't have done. And now everything feels bad and we should never drink again or go in public, according to our book of thoughts. Uh... Basically, May wants to become a fire ghost and yell at people. So right now, we are not in a happy place. So, um, just uh, having a look through everything here. Nothing new of note. So, wonder what uh, is going to happen on the computer. Let's at least check in with our friends first. If Provided I press the right button, I'm still so used to Y doing everything in Hyperlight Drifter. X is what I need. Okay. So, we bring everything up. And by so doing... Okay, we have text messages waiting for us. Alright, so that's... So that was B. Because previously I think I got it wrong. So that's B. That's Greg. That's Angus. Then who's this? Who is that? Alright. Well, anyway. Let's check in with Sharkle. Okay. So, on the news. Techonomy today. Economist Pete Corgley. Job growth robust in low-wage sectors. So, that's kind of a wash, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's check in with B. Hey. Sorry about last night. Really, I think it should be May who should be sorry. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day. If you want to stop by. Okay. Well, that gives us one place to go. Greg says, Hey dude, you okay? Last night was pretty intense. B said you're okay. I'm a snack falcon all day. Come by if you are not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. P.S. Bad jam later. Oh my god. The end. <laughs> uh... Okay. Alright, so we should check in with B and um, Greg then. So I might get a little bit of uh, practice in, then. So, Space Dragons there, die anywhere else, and... Oh, we can now play Go Get Dead Angel Face! Alright, well, let's see what this is all about. Apparently this is, uh... The, um... Break Up With Cole song. Whoa, no! No! No way I'm gonna play that one. Too embarrassing. Really? Okay, we do not talk about Get Dead Angel Face. Alright, well, I do want to play something. Well, let's, let's have another go at Die Anywhere Else. Alright. Yep. I have to get this just warming up for later. Because there's a strumming bit later on. And... Okay, we're doing so well so far. I actually like this song.
XP, X, XP, Y, X. Oh. The problem is that the buttons don't line up with pitch. I don't know how I did that. Still not good at strumming. I think this is it. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Well, only... <laughs> not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. Yeah, fair enough. Alright. Oh, we're not going to look at ourselves in the mirror. I don't think we want to look at ourselves in the mirror right now. But, oh well. That was a good warm-up. I kind of needed it. Especially if we're going to play later. Alright. Oh, we can look at the clock. Oh, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now. Since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. So what's on the uh hang on, is that Is that May there with the uh costume? Uh looks like that's Dad and May fishing. And that's Dad with uh, May as a baby there. This looks like they're chilling out on a grassy bank or something. Oh, there's Pregnant Mum. Oh, different music now. So what's she got to say? Afternoon, us. Oh, yes, the bird. What's up, bird? This bookshelf is like the ghost of Grandad hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton. Oh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Oh, hang on, that looks like directions. I should probably write that down. Okay, let me grab myself a pen real quick and deal with that. Okay, left 45, right 100. Left 22. Left 90. And right 15. Okay, that looks like directions or a um, combination safe code or something. Is this like... What is this? Thought, come back to life, Grandad. Oh, G Dad, rip. Yes, yeah, really. Uh, oops, didn't mean to go into the options then. So, looks like we'll probably have something there from band practice today. Hopefully, more of B, more of Angus there. Probably some more thoughts there. Well, let's see if Dad has uh, moved the stuff in here yet. Nope. Yeah, Dad put him here in bed. Dad should move him. It's only fair. And that's one way of um, keeping something locked. So, what time is it? It's like 20 to 3 or 20 to 4. Maybe Mum's going to say something. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. I will do that, Mum. Hey, hon. You look like crap. Wow. Thanks, cheery Mum. Yep. Rough night. That is tired. <laughs> is it that obvious? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Is it that obvious? 
No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Oh, thanks. If you want to talk about it, it's cool, Mum. Yeah, I want to explore this path. I saw Cole at a party in the woods. From senior year. Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? I don't really remember. Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, you did speak to him. You said you had nightmare eyes and you like to stab people. So kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hun. Really? He didn't seem like that. Wow. That's strong words coming from Mum. About Cole. Okay. Wow. Alright. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town centre. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great! Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mum, I'm 20. Uh-huh. Which means you go to jail for it. No one is going to jail for running around on the power lines. Psst, they never catch me. That's a May thing that I'm, I'm, I think I'd go with that. Because I don't want to um, say that just in case you know, I can't go up there anymore. Because I want to go up there. Oh, But then again, that could also say like... If I say no one's going to jail, then I've just fulfilled a thing and it basically says, okay, no one goes to jail. Whereas if I say that, then it could be that Aunt May basically goes after me. Well, Aunt May, Aunt Molly, I should say. Wow, I'm getting my M's confused. Hmm, they never catch it. I'm going to go with that, though. That seems like what May would say. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there, there's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know. Everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mum, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mum, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. <laughs> oh. So what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna see what Greg and B are up to. You all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much past messing around with their old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. <laughs> right, indeed. More F the cops. Let's uh, chill out on the power line, so... The game is telling me, walk on the power lines, obviously. Oh, anything else to say, Mum? What you reading? Book about a guy who grew up secretly living on a fishing ship. Okay, we've moved on from the eels. Living in a barrel, eating raw fish, crabs, octopus, squid, lobster, gulls, albatross. You get it? Grizzly stuff. Um, let's go with wow. Sharks, dolphins, sea cucumbers, seaweed, sand, rocks, kelp. But that's the same as seaweed, I think. I get the picture. Let's go with I get the picture. The crew thought the boat was haunted, but nope. Just the Barrel Boy. What's the book called? Let me guess, Barrel Boy. I saw that coming. Thank you for setting up the, the, um, setting it up in the last part. Oddly enough, I now want fish sticks. I know, right? I'll have your father bring some home. Anything else to say, Mum? Have a nice day, sweetie. And that's it? Okay. Alright. I'll have a nice day then. I'll try to.
Okay, well, I could go inside. Oh, it sounds like this. Oh, they're still at it. Hey, when are you going to be done? When are you going to be done? When are you going to be done? I want to get down there. At some predetermined point in the story when I can access the content that's down there. Alright, well, let's see what Simmels has to say. Hey, mate. Hey, Selmas. Selmas. Okay, it's been a little while since I've seen her name. Don't blame me. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh, yeah. Doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one, too. Oh, okay. Did you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the Hand Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So... Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? No. Rehab and the program do, though. Now I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Uh, yeah, sure. My heart is a dankness, but when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, oh, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. Mr. Chazikov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's going to break his damn neck. Oh, and just looked up. Okay. Ta-da! It's Selmers, a poet. Now, are you going to shoot me for coming up on there? Because I want to walk up there and see Mr. Chazikov on the roof. Hello! If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him! Up there on the roof next door! If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to see. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know! Alright, anything else to say? I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is all for familiar of you. Yeah, but... 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 Hey, break of the law! Okay. Let's break the law some more, shall we? There we are. Okay, so to get to you... You have to go past B's apartment. Like so. Oh, they've taken the washing off the line up here. Go through to here. And jump over onto your roof. And do that. May Barofsky. You could have knocked on the door down there. You're polite to be on other people's roofs. Next time, I'm going to call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I am glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting Dusk Stars. What's Dusk Stars? Dusk Stars is the name of my shoegaze band. <laughs> no, let's 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 go with this. Wandering stars, the light of which does not come through at night. How does that work? It's a trick of the atmosphere in setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Want to have a look? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've determined that we like looking at the stars. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh. You want to put the filter on like so? Jeez! The sun is bright! Make you blind! You didn't think to mention this? I just did! So now we can look through Mr. Chazikov's telescope. And now with the sun gone, or filtered out, we can see the stars in the daytime. But what are we looking for? Oh. Okay, so that's as far as we can go. Oh, hello. 
we get a bit of a signal. Okay. This reminds me of Spore a little bit. When you go and you move across all the stars in the galaxy and you're trying to find which ones have signs of life from the radio waves. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Oh. Ah, yes. Castus. Castus? I'm not familiar with that. It looks like a, a drunken fox in a straitjacket. What's Castus? Totally it is. This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Oh, right. Okay. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? I guess someday. I don't know. Never. Uh. I mean... I want to live forever, but I don't know. The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No to all of them. This is fair. Alright, so we go around and use the telescope and try and find things in the sky. Oops. So we look for those radio signals until we get close to something. There was one over here somewhere, I thought. It's a big area to explore. No. Oh. This one here. Found one. Let me have a look. Oh! Ah oh, yes, Door the Murderer. Oh, charming. Okay, I'm interested. <laughs> Alright. Yep, we get an indication of May's personality there. Door passed Burn at the King's procession on the streets. Door was quiet and said nothing, and the King took offence to this. Why? Royalty is strange. So what happened? Burn incited Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on. Until he was down to insulting Dor's chickens. Damn. Chickens are kind of awful. Ah, oh, no they're not. Damn. Dor first murdered Burn's chickens. Then his ancestral village. Then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Burn, the king was silent. I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dora a hero? Totally. I don't know. But it doesn't really matter, I think. Like, if you've been told you nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story. And real people died. And it should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh really? They come and go so fast. That was pretty great. We can look again in two days time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember, probably not. Yeah, if I remember, so I have to remember, come back in two days time. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> So what have we got? Doa and Castus. That's really cool. So, uh, are those star stories supposed to have morals or something? I think you have to figure that out for yourself, May. If it only means something because I wanted to, then it doesn't really mean anything, right? What? I have to think about that one for a bit. Yeah, that's worth thinking about. One of the things I like and 
was one of the messages from Legend of Mana. Is that, um... There's no such thing as good beliefs and bad beliefs, but only what you believe. So, does that mean that, um... If these stories like that, is it along that is it along that philosophy? I guess. Hmm. I remember when B's family had a house and not a tiny, depressing apartment. But yeah, then uh, B's mum died, which uh, we totally forgot, like a like an idiot. Alright, so what have we got in town centre now? Anything new on the notice board? Doesn't look like it, no. No. And that's not coming out at all. That... I want to, uh try and uh, go to, I guess. Car fest. So, well now we can go up the stairs to here, I guess. Wow, construction is finally done. Stairs is open for business. Wonder what's going on up there. So do I, mate. So we've got a whole new area of town we can go to. So that's the church. You can only go to church if uh, you can walk up the stairs. Oh no, there, there is a way to drive up here. Oh, but it can go even further. There's another one of those war memorials. Where is it? Oh, got a picture of uh, a bird priest with uh, flames coming out of his mouth. Pass to K.W. Young. Sunday services at the First Coalescence Church. And then bingo, 7pm on Tuesday. Transform Youth Ministry on a Friday night. Oh, this is going a long way. Wow, okay, right, you can go even further and further that way. Well, before I do that, I might just check in here. Well, can I go down at all? Nope, nope. Okay. We can go into church. Can we go around the side of it? No. Nope. Well, let's check out the church, shall we? Oh, I love the door closing behind me like that. Oh, so this will be like the foyer. Oh! It's Mum. How did you get up here so fast? With the car. Hey, hun. Hey, mum. Well, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Nope. Oh, she's around somewhere. Might be outside? She likes to go on walks. Cool, cool. I might bump into her. So, how's church working? Good. Answering the phone, entering data of various sorts. I'm trying to get everything into one unified app... thing. Do you know they make programs just for church administration? I didn't! I was watching online tutorials for the one we just got, but I just got distracted by true crime videos. Mum, I do declare, you are slacking off at work. God will forgive me. Alright sweetie, I better work. Okay, I'll leave you to it. There's books back there, and a dark room. Okay. So as everyone has to jump to go up those stairs. Okay, so now we know uh, what Mum actually does. So Mum works in church administration for the First Coalescence Church. And Dad works at the Hand Panther. Now why is there that little thing sticking up there? Okay, what happens if we keep going this way? Oh! 
You warm enough at night? Yeah, you know I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Oh, don't go to any trouble. I'm alright. That's good. Gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason we have a lot of blankets. That'll sure be a blessing. Well, we bless best with what we have already have too much of anyway. <laughs> and we got blankets! <laughs> so you're talking about the stars. And you're talking about uh, hot dogs. Stars. Hot dogs. Hey! Hey! You're Candy Borowski's daughter, right? Okay, Candy is Mum's name. Yep, who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. That's like, way more syllables. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey! Hey. Bruce is new to our community. Do you live in the woods? Yep. But not for long, we're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And the bigger than city council. Still thinks it's a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbour would be easy. And you are our actual neighbour. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at the church sometime. I will. I'll be up to visit my mum anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. May. May Borowski. Bruce. Just Bruce. Pastor. Pastor Kate. Okay. Nothing else you're going to say? No? Alright, let's have a look at our journal. Pastor K. And Bruce. So there'll be an ongoing story with those two, I think. Oh. Water Tower for Possum Springs. I always wanted to climb the Water Tower, but then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear to Brittle from there. Well, maybe we will. Oh. And suddenly the music stops. Where are we off to? What's down the hill? Other than a whole heap of graffiti. Any initials I recognise? No, I don't think so. What happens if... Nope, that's it. Oh, this is like a, a lover's spot or, or something. Okay. Because, yeah, it won't let me go down. This isn't like a Mario game. You can't fall off everything. Okay. So all these new things are open to me. So, I have to get used to the concept of four seasons, because where I am in Australia, it's... It's... Well, actually we have six seasons where I am. Hot, still hot, not quite as hot. Westerly winds, not hot yet. And somewhere in there is uh, wet and rainy. And, and warm and rainy, I should say. So, it's, um, it's a different dynamic. You're going to run out and do this on your break? Shh. I think I'm going to tell Nancy I'm sick. I can puke on command. Well, that's one way to do it. i got to change clothes in the car. In case you puke on your regular clothes. No, I just want to look good for the interview. Oh, so she's leaving. Good idea. I mean, it's Ham Panther. It ain't a night gallery in Paris. But I figure any leg up is good. I'm excited. So am I. I need to drink all this coffee so I got something to puke in 20 minutes. Alright. Oh, well, good luck to you, Wolf. Hang on. Oh, that's Dr. Hank. Oh, it's all Dr. Hanks. Okay. Well, we might as well check in on B. Oh, that's, um... What's his name? How's it going, dude? 
got a job here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm lying. It sucks. Oh, jeez. I had no idea there were so many kinds of hammers and wrenches and nails. My god, the nails. Yep. I had to buy some screws recently. I had to go through a whole aisle before I found the right one. So, what have you got to say, B? Hey, B. Yo. Sorry about last night. I get woozy on cold medicine. So I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much. So, what ifs? Hooray for alcohol. New town motto. Band practice later? Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We were barely even a band in high school. Eh, it's fun. Get to hang out with Angus. How did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad. So I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer. It's a laptop, B. It sure is, man. It sure is. I'll see you later. I got some work to do. Oh, you're not going to follow me this time. You're actually going to look at... Uh... Oh, I wish I could remember your name. Uh, someone tell me in comments, please. All right. Oh, we can look at this uh, memorial again. I've never been to war. Not like the recruiter didn't try, though. Hard. Like ten guys from my high school class went off to army. Got to afford college some way or another. So then, what happened to... You affording college? Okay. There's one thing that's been tempting me, and it's been tempting me for a very long time. And it said at the start of the episode I should go and do it. So I'm going to try and do it. And that's to get up on the wires here. Because I wasn't able to. Alright, we have to come down the stairs from the church. Okay, just went a touch too far. I need to triple jump onto this, so one... Okay. Oh, I've got to do it while I'm in full flight. Hang on. Ah, that's how we do it. The light. Alright, what have we got up here? Other than... Some person with a... Uh, um, a windmill with a pigeon. Oh, there's more and more wires to climb. Okay. I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. Oh, oh there go a flock of geese south of the winter. And that's one of the things I'm looking forward to in America. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Let me do my thing, old man. Oh, are you calling the cops? Do not call the cops. Nuke Possum Springs, 87. Hang on, this is the... Um, party store, isn't it? All these people. Hello, salutations, genius. You're dumb because you're spelled like that. Oh, yes. Wow. Someone's up here in 2007. And the building date's from 1901. Oh, there's someone on the roof up there. I'll have to go and talk to them sh uh, very soon. Oh no, this is the party shop. And as far as we can go, this way. Alright, well. Let's keep going. Goat lung. S plus F, chill. Okay. I think, isn't that Spanish for wet floor or something? I'm not familiar with Spanish. I really also become a bit more familiar with it. 
I want to jump on this roof, but I can't. How has that pigeon not been frightened off by me bouncing? Okay, I'm just going to take this carefully. If that's a wet floor or something. Okay. Couldn't quite get it up there. Oh, hang on. Hello? What's going on here? Why can I... Oh, I can get in the building. Ooh. Well, this is exciting. But no, I want to go and talk to this guy up there. Let's do that first. There we go. Hello, sir. Hey. Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm going to sit. Legs are killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. 20 years. You're like all the way old. How old are you? 15 in February. I used to hang out here after school. Really? Most kids don't come all the way up here. Haha, <laughs> that's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Where do you live? Chestnut Street. Oh, okay. Out by the tracks. Yeah. Guess I'm not really town. I'm like... tracks. I live down on Maple. Oh, the rich neighborhood. What? What? Um... No. Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. <coughs> Never mind, it's okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, calm down. I'm sorry, I, I get all weird sometimes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll forgive you if you stop apologizing. <laughs> uh, okay. The tracks are cool, haven't been out there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with... <laughs> Bits of ceiling on you. Good point. Alright. I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Cool. See you later. See you, killer. Ugh. Oh, yes. We spoke to you before. Yep. So. What did we do to put that person in hospital and did they actually die from it? That's what I want to know. Oh, there's a cat up there. Okay. No, I can't seem to quite get it. There's not enough uh, room. But anyway. Let's check out what's in here. Nothing like a little bit of break and enter. I mean, the game's encouraging me. Oh. Now, this isn't creepy or anything. Okay. Am I going to see something I shouldn't? Possum Springtime. Okay, so this is all for the Spring Fest. Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the Spring Parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingrobe snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they cancelled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And now the ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Ooh, there's stairs down that way as well. Okay. Well, that's... That's a bit of history. Oh, exit. Okay. It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. It is too. Have they heard of, um... The um, triangle shirt waist? No, seriously. Is this thing as clearly marked as something it is not? 
I came back for you, Exidor, and we're going to have a little chat with my boot. Worst exit, easily. I agree. What's in here? Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. Mallard, pea, bloom and grow. One of my absolute favourite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. The tomb of our childhood. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favourite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Oh! And we can play with his corpse. Okay. What's this going to entail? Mallard! You're pregnant! It's one of those god things. Like when you have a baby because god? Holy crap. You are the cutest vermin. Okay, May definitely uh, has a different definition of cute. I think she's more that sort of creepy cute. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Oh. Um. They've. I don't know if I should. Oh, they squeak. Well, that's cute. Alright, so we have a. Uh... Okay, that's all we can do. So we have a little place to go and look at. Miracle rats. Alright, so we've got to find some food for the rats in Mallard's stomach. I never thought I'd be saying something like that playing this game. Alright, so we can go down. Oh, no, that's a locked door. Alright. So this actually turned out to be a happy place. Alright, well when we go down, is uh, Aunt Molly going to be unhappy with us, I wonder? Well, we'll just uh, walk down the stairs. There we go. No one can say that I uh, fell down, because I certainly didn't. Oh, that's the old pickaxe. Right. I think that's where it was. But meanwhile, down here. Oh, hello, you're new. Hey! Whoa, hey! We got like the same shirt, but like opposites. Oh, wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it like a band or something? Nah, I made it in home egg back in high school. I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's Wrestling League. Whoa. What's that? Backyard wrestling. Whoa. Where does it happen? All over the place. Backyards. You know. How did I not know about this? It's secret. Because illegal, I think, and people go to the hospital and stuff? That is awesome. This is awesome! It's awesome! Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you there sometime! Okay. Backyard wrestling that may or may not be illegal. Alright, let's check in. Hey, it's Angus. Hey, May. Hey, Angus, how's it going? You are like the third person I've seen today. I know if you explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. 
you'd be surprised. Band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. You growl real good. Thanks. I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. I think I cried non-stop until I was like nine, and then I cried all the time again, sounding at like 13. You had a good three years of not crying in there. They were really productive years. <laughs> Anything else? Nope, that's it. Um, no, I can't go behind the curtain. Okay. What the... Oh. Past abilities is closed. Thank you for 28 wonderful years, Possum Springs. Love Sal and Jan. What the... What? No! No, 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 no! House abilities is gone! No more pizza delivery! No more big sale! No more special birthdays! This is the worst thing that's happened to this town. Since the flood that took out... Petting Zoo, the mini golf ice cream place. The petting zoo? Oh, that would be... That would be terrible, let's go with it. Thank goodness all the animals swam to safety on the roof of the tire place. Who knew goats were such good swimmers? I am so freaking depressed right now. Oh dear. And we started off so well and then suddenly... Yeah. Well, we should have gone there instead of the diner the other night. Maybe they'd still be in business. No, we can't go in Angus's apartment. What's happening down here? Are the teenagers still down here? Do they still hate my guts? Oh dear. Nuke Possum... Oh, hold Nuke Possum Spring. Because this mule is of historical note, Molly. What do we know? Well, sometime overnight, someone used bolt cutters on the gates and came down here. What do they use? A paint roller? Looks to be. Says they intend to nuke poss... something? I think it's likely some kid saw one of the old Nuke Possum Springs tags from back when and got bored halfway through running it. We need to treat this as a terrorist action. I'm... sorry? This mural is of historical note. Alright, well, I'll round up any, uh, terrorists I see. Round up any dirtbag teens or vagrants that have been hanging around town. Check out by the abandoned food donkey. They come off the train there. Already on it. Molly. Yeah? Find whoever did this. Okay. I want to see them hang. I think it mostly gets a, a fine and some jail time. This was a historical note. Without this, I don't know if there's a reason to keep this place open. Yeah, Kathleen, we all know what you think. What? You think I wanted this? It's not like any of you had I ideas for this place. Kathleen, we are not going to put a rest home down here. It's just wasted space. And they're down here anyway at Trolley Side News every day. We are not putting our elderly in a hole. Well, elderly. Yeah, Colleen. At least if we're closer, we wouldn't have to keep an eye on this place. Thank you, Molly. That's helpful. If you're all done, I've got things to do. Ooh. Yeah, fine. Damn shame. This is of historical note. Without it, I don't know if we can justify keeping this place open. So he's unhappy. Yeah, I mean... It was... Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you might be able to restore it, but... What is the significance of this place otherwise? I mean, it's... Something. Oh, hello. You're new. Oh, hello, May. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me. Miss Rosa? Hmm. I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? Yeah, right. How did you know Grandad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime and I'll tell you all about him? Things you might not know. Alright, you've got my interest. Sweet, curious child. Anything else you want to tell me? About Grandad? Nope. 
Oh, I could. I could steal one, but I'm not going to. I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. Many miners, old and young, with home and heart and coal and lung, were taken by the trolley men up to the mine and back again. But mudside flood and awful storm have given tunnel fishes whole... Horror. Please stop listening. Honey, I'm Horum. Right. So that's actually... So by trolley... There was a trolley here, so it wasn't a canal. That water shouldn't be here. All right. Oh, hello. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. Oh, that's stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. Hmm. What? I saw a rabbit possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? No, just rabbit. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. Wow. It was like a poem. Okay. Alright, so now we're introduced to Jeremy. Jerm And you're taking up Angus's other page. Right. I see. Anything you guys have to say? How about them smelters? Kick some blue bear ass last night. Good game. Good game. Gonna be hell of a season, but Oh, okay, maybe the smelters is the name of the team. So what else have we got? Down the way. Oh. So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one could survive their arm just falling off or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is this still called assault if you chop an arm off? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You are under arrest for arm choppy. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. So, yep, there's still the mystery of the arm. Well, can't go in there at the moment. Can we go down here yet? Could hike out to the abandoned food donkey. I'm not going to hike out to the abandoned food donkey. And is that all you have to say? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, well, there's one place left to go, I think. And... That's to see Greg. But that is something that we're going to do in the next episode, folks. This one's gone on far too long. So thank you very much for watching and for joining me in this adventure so far. Until I see you next time, Otsukaria-sama.